welcome to this video in this video i will show you how we can implement search filter and lookup functionality in canvas apps let us use a gallery to display some data from common data service or microsoft dataverse i have created a canvas app and this is my blank canvas and here i want to use a gallery so i will just search a gallery and i can use a vertical gallery right and this vertical gallery i can connect to a data source so i can click on the data source and choose let's say contacts so this contact entity or contact table is connecting to uh, the dataverse uh, entity right now if i'll run it you can see this will display all the contact records that is part of my organization or environment right now so how many records are displaying let us see whatever the record it is displaying it doesn't it doesn't matter right now i want to search some record row uh, record so i will just add a rectangle here so just design the app and just fill it by some color and take some level to display something search filter and lookup so I can define, let me make it white color and change the size, right? Now here I want to add another uh, rectangle below this header and in, inside this header I want to change the color of the background and here I want to place a search box. So I can go here and click on insert and use a text panel text input and put it here and i can change the default value as blank and in the hint text i can provide let's say search now you can see it will display the search box here at the top right now whenever i will type it's not searching anything right but how you can implement this search functionality i can go here in the gallery control in the items property you will see the function is having only the contacts plural name of the entity but i want to use the search functionality so what i have to do in the items property of the gallery i will use a power fx called as search and inside that i will pass the data source called as contacts and next parameter of the search power fx is the text that you want to search the text that i want to search is available in the text box and you know that what is the id of the text box you can go here and rename this let's say txt search now i'll go to this galleries uh, gallery power fx items power fx and write down txt search dot text so this is the text that the system or app will search now which columns or which fields of this contact record it will search you have to mention all the columns let's say first it will search name uh, first name or you can search full name right then i want to search the uh, the city right let's say address one city now you can put multiple columns here if you want to search multiple columns right now my search functionality is done if i'll run it and i can type down here let's say i want to search uh, uh, something let's say tina then it will return data right now let's say i'm searching andy you can see wherever it will match it will return data right So if I'll search, it will return data. Now, the point here is the search is working fine, right? If I want to add the uh, city uh, city value in the item of the gallery, I can click on this first row and add another level here for every uh, item and connect this to city, right? Now I can search it here. I want to search 
I want to uh, clear this search box now right if you see you will see the uh, city value is available in every item if I want to search every contacts which are part of Redmond then I can search Redmond now it will display all the customers or contacts which belongs to Redmond city right and you can search also any other city if you want to search if you search can't this is the only one customer now you understand how you can implement search for a gallery in canvas apps now you will see how we can use filters search functionality gives uh, or returns multiple data items or single items by matching the criteria that you have defined here if you want to implement filter then how can you do filters right let us go here and uh, add a control called as let's say combo box I want to use this combo box to uh, display the genders okay so in the combo box uh, in the combo box items list instead of combo box sample I'll just write down distinct and inside of this distinct I will pass gender so the first parameter of the distinct is the, uh, the source data source the data source is contacts and the second second is the column which column you want to get the column is center and after that you have to use results now this result will give you the distinct value of the genders now if you run it you can see this will display male and female right now I want to filter this by uh, by this uh, I want to filter the list of the contacts using their gender right so how can I do that so here I can use filters so instead of search I can just write down filter first parameter is the source so I want to filter accounts sorry contacts and the expression I want to use that if the gender is if the gender is equal to uh, the combo box combo box 2 dot so what is the combo box ID you can see here if you go to review you can understand here by click this combo box 2 right you should rename it properly now combo box two dot selected dot result right now I can close it now what it will do whenever you select anything in the list in the drop down it will display data right now let us go here and filter by mail then these are the male candidates if you filter by female it will display female candidates now let us add the gender value in every item so that it will be better visible I can click on the first row and add another level and in this level I will display gender so I'll go to a text property so this item dots gender right now this is the gender now let us test this again as because it is selected female so it is filtering all the female candidates or contacts you can see here now if I'll remove female and use male then it will filter all male candidates right now you understand how search is working and how filter is working now how to combine both right to combine both what we have to do we have to go to this formula and instead of so everything that is filtering the uh, content of the list or content of the list of the gallery you just start typing search and what it will search after filtering the data I want to search something from this filtered data what I want to search use the comma parameter comma and next parameter is the text what is the text txt search dot text and what you want to search which fields you want to search you want to search full name
full name then let's say city then i can close it now this will combine both functionality it will filter the contacts first according to the uh, uh, combo box selected value or the gender then it will search the value that is given here from this filtered list let us test this i'll just remove this for now and remove this also now it will give all the uh, details right all uh, contact informations here now I, I want to filter male candidates now these are the male candidates and from this i want to search those male candidates who are part of columbus or redmond so i can type down here redmond right now it will give you all the functionalities or candidates which are uh, male candidates and belongs to redmond now let us go here and use a counter here to identify how many uh, people are there how, how many results are there displaying in the gallery i can use this and instead of this i can use let's say count row count rows is the power fx to uh, to use uh, to read how many rows are displaying in a gallery now you can use gallery what is the gallery name you can search here uh, this is the gallery 6 so i can go here and use gallery 6 dot all items now let us search and make it more bolder or you can give it like this right now let me run this now let me filter this uh, let me clear the filters and search box now it is total 100 why it is 100 because there are more than 100 now if you scroll it the count will be changed so initially the uh, power fx or the uh, canvas apps returns 100 by page by page 100 records it, it pickups then it will load another 100 one by one right so if you drag and it will load another 100 so total is 150 that's why it is displaying only 150 otherwise it will load the exact value here now the point here is let me search let me filter by mail now it is deducted to 57 that means 57 mail candidates are available here now if i will filter by city let's say male candidates from dallas then only five candidates are there from dallas one two three four five right now you understand how search functionality search functionality and filter is working and also the count row functionality works next we will see how lookup is working lookup power fx is used to return a single record by matching a criteria right for example you want to return a, a record with two or more conditions for example let me take a symbol here uh, let me run it and check it a record first i want to search a uh, contact I, I want to search from this um, gallery or contact list where the email id is this one right so how can i do that let us take a label here and to display some information here matching some criteria so in the text property i'll write down look up what i want to look up i, I want to look up contacts then if you want to look up contact what should, should be the condition the condition is email is equal to pradhan at the rate gmail.com so i want to search a, a record or contact record matching this email condition and once it will return what i want to display here in this level i want to display the full name now i can put the full name here now it will return the full name of the contact record 
whose email id is this now you can understand now here it is displaying my name that means wherever it will match this criteria so lookup means it will look up or search for a specific uh, record item matching a criteria and you can use whatever value that is returning uh, record right now you understand how search and filter and lookup is used and also count row is used i hope you understand and if you have any doubt you can comment me here in the video so that it will be i can answer you okay so thank you guys cheers bye